Gail C., Director of Teaching and Learning, and this week I have a repeat <laughs> performance from uh, Vicki Vinton. Yes. Vicki was here last week on the podcast talking about her work with the elementary school, yes. and she has just spent this week with our middle school. So Vicki, do you right. want to tell us what you did with the middle yeah. school? Um, it was very different work. I think it was equally important. Um, I was really working on planning with the middle school teachers, and one of the themes that did transfer from one uh, from the upper elementary to the middle was thinking about: Are we are we planning with intention, purpose, clarity, and precision? Mm -hmm. um, and in particular, are we sure? that um, how we're assessing kids is aligned to what we're teaching and vice versa. Right. <laughs> so that there's a clear, so that it's very clear what we are teaching, what we expect students to do, and then how we're going to assess them. Right, and we're talking about in the area of language arts, Absolutely. which is where you're working right, uh, right. this week. And I, I did step into one of the meetings Briefly, you were having yes. with, the, <laughs> with the seventh yeah. grade team, yeah. and it was very clear that they were identifying their standards mm -hmm. and clustering things together and unpacking that so that they knew exactly, as you said, the intentionality right. around what it was that they were teaching. Right. So you worked right. with each of the teams, six, seven, and eight? Yeah, so I had meetings across the week um, mm -hmm. with sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. Um, we began by trying to to share out what they thought their, what the, at this point in the year, what they thought their students were able to do an understanding mm -hmm. uh, about reading. Mm -hmm. um, then kind of thought about what they wanted their students to understand and to, to make that more concrete. I also invited us at each grade level to read a short text of the kind they're going to be, of the genre they're going to be using right. and teaching into. Right. Just so that we could say, are these things that we're saying we're doing things that we actually do as readers? Right. Um, and then thinking about once we're clear on that, and we're clear on what we want them to understand, how are we going to know that they actually learned it? Right. Um, so that was and kind of a process that went through it. Yeah. Right. yeah. So as we talked to parents mm -hmm. this week, yeah. um, thinking about middle school parents, yeah. those young young people yeah. who are reading, what, advan what advice, I should say, would you give to parents about supporting their young middle school uh, students with reading? Oh. I think ask them what they're reading. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, ask them. I mean, they could ask them things like, you know, does it have any? Re does is what you're reading have any relevance to your life? Oh, I think make the connections. Make the connections between, yes. you know, that because I think ultimately we read to kind of better understand ourselves and others, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you know, kind of what am I getting out of this out of this text? Right. Um, and I mean, even asking questions like. You know what kinds of books do you really love to read? Um, just to kind of talk to them. Also, if you, if parents are readers, talk to them exactly, reader yeah. to reader. Yes. Um, and I will say, just um, if we have enough time for this, I just read a piece in the paper. I think mm -hmm. it was the New York Times, mm -hmm. but they said that uh, children who grow up in households in which um, there are books. Yes. Um, there's a critical number. If you've got if you've got more than 80 books in your house, uh -huh. there is an increased level of literacy among um, students who come from those households. Uh, and so it's just to know even even if you're not even if you haven't been able to read all of them, just the fact that books are in your house, part of your life. Um, yeah, and part of your life um, raises the potential for your kids to be more successful in terms of literacy. Right. So that that's an, an important point yeah. for parents to to know. Yeah. Um, I want to go back to what you just talked about before about. Um, the genre. What right. kinds of books yeah. are students reading? Because I know oftentimes that, particularly in this age group, mm -hmm. I think, and you can you know comment. Right. Um, oftentimes they get stuck in mm -hmm. you know I want to only read fantasy or right. I only want to read how-to books. Right. So right. what would you say? Well, it's interesting. You're you're making me think about my week last week when I was in the lower school, mm -hmm. um, where the teachers recognizing that they are had had this book tasting day where yes. kids could move from classroom yes. to classroom and perhaps be exposed to other genres. Mm -hmm. So it would be nice to think about how do we how do we invite kids to read outside of their preferred 
Um, right. uh, their preferred reading, because of course they love reading realistic fiction yes. about kids who look just like them. Yes. Also in sixth grade is doing something very interesting. They're really thinking about making kids more aware of when are you reading a book that kind of is a mirror that looks, you know, that mm -hmm. helps um, you know, where in which you see yourself in the book. Uh -huh. And when are you reading books that are actually are windows into lives other than yours? Uh -huh. um, and both, I think, fiction and nonfiction, and how it, do we have to engage in those books differently? Mm -hmm. And and can both be equally rewarding to mm -hmm. read um, and to think about ourselves in, in our ability to both um, feel affirmed by a book because it's, oh, I feel that too, but also feel empathetic and, and mm. stretch our perspective mm. of the world right. by reading books that are uh, windows, not mirrors, and yeah. so that's kind of exciting. So that's an interesting thing for yeah. parents to think about in terms of when you're talking to, yeah. to your children yeah. about about your books and yeah. what they're reading. Yeah. So again, that intentionality. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So thank you, Vicki. Yeah. You've been a terrific uh, Critical friend to us. Oh, I love this class. <laughs> <two weeks. laughs> yeah. And yeah. Uh, we're very glad that you were here, really deepening the work that yeah. our teachers are doing around yeah. language arts. Yeah. So thank well, you very thank much. Thank you, too, for having me right. here. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye.